Hello guys, uh, welcome to Jaipur CAP7 session. Uh, today the topic which I am going to cover is application context. Okay, this is very, uh, you know, when you are trying to access any application, okay, other than uh, a host name and IP address, you need to provide the uh, application context part. So then only you can able to access your web application in, the, in any Jaipur server. Okay, so now without the application context, so how to uh, access your application which you deployed in EAP7. Okay, just first we will uh, access this application uh, with the application context, then we will go with so without application context, how to access. Okay, so I will go to start my uh, JBoss server. So I have a JBoss EAP7 and pin folder. So I am just starting a simple a standalone JBoss. So there are no more, no, there is no any changes been done as of now. So this is a fresh JBoss started. Okay, so I will deploy a simple verify. Okay. So I have a, a HTTP session somewhere for simple verify standard on deployments and just copy directly into the deployments. Okay. So once you uh, see this is trying to deploy, you see this uh, you have to observe here. So the registered uh, web context. So HTTP session login. So now I can able to access my application with context. Okay. So see this HTTP localhost 0080. So okay. So this is also some cache. Let me delete some the cache. It's clear. Okay. Okay. Localhost 0080 HTTP session. So I'm able to access this. So without this. Okay, this is my application home page. Uh, let me remove sorry. Let me remove this. So I cannot access this application. So so without because I am not provided any application context over here. So if I provide, then only I can able to access my application HTTP session. Okay. So for example, let me log in and see. Okay. So, okay. so I have done something. So you can see the log. So just printed or login successfully. So this is the way generally people will you know uh, do uh, with uh, with context. So how to access without uh, you know uh, this uh, without I don't want to enter you know any uh, so if example my there is some big uh, URL so I don't want to access uh, you know enter any of this but simply uh, without entering so I want to access this web application which I deployed in JMS. Okay, so how to access that? Okay, so the changes. Uh, let me uh, just stop this JMS. Okay. Deployment. Let me remove this. Uh, uh, I have deployed uh, whatever I deployed. Okay. This is okay. Um, now I removed the var file. So let me do the changes inside uh, the uh, So the changes will be in application uh, var file level. Okay. So I created one folder test. So let me copy into this var file into this test folder. Okay. So the okay. let me go to test. So okay. Let me unzip. This is uh, sorry. Okay, so as you know, uh, you know, web application will have a structure, uh, meta enough, and web enough inside web enough classes, lib, you know, some web dot XML. So all miscellaneous files are over here, HTML, you know, whatever JSP files, whatever. Okay, so go to uh, you know, inside uh, web enough, go to in application, okay. Once you uh, go to uh, once you unchip, if you have Windows, you can go with the uh, chip now directly. So chip, go open it. Go to inside web panel. Okay. So we need to create here one file. Okay. Jboss web dot xml. Jboss web dot xml. So okay. I just created one uh, simple file. Jboss web dot xml. This is empty. Nothing. So we need to add something into this. Okay. So copy paste. Uh, root context. Okay. This is what I added. So context is just empty. Okay, nothing is there. So let me save this file. Okay. So that is what I added. Uh, let me see cat. So we created a file and we added this XML con the context XML. Okay, the context. Okay, let me come back. Test okay. Okay, so I will uh, remove this. This is the old one. Let me make uh, whatever we modified this file. So let me make it as a zip. Okay. So, so this is uh, uh, Linux. So 
I would like to make a zip so whatever the files I have all the files uh, modified or uh, complete this meta enough log html step enough everything just i am making as a chip of as a var file okay so now you see this so all these files has made as a, a var file so i will going to deploy this into jboss okay let's just take a session so jboss ep standard just i copied okay just my jboss okay not at started let me remove some just uh, stuff for uh, temp if anything is stuff okay log also just okay. sorry okay so i have a uh, var file is copied into deployment so then i'm going to start my jboss server okay uh, once you deploy it let, let observe there is a single line in this file okay. see this just have a context is not so earlier we have http session login or something now with this uh, just nothing okay so let's access this application uh, without an uh, application context so so let me remove the cache so we'll cause some problem okay so this is how you know you can access this application like right? example uh, So now I'm logging. So I've just not entered anything. Just simple without a context, I can able to access my application. So this is how you can access, you know, without application context anything. This is a very simple way. You know, without when you have production level, you know, user cannot enter everything. So this is how you can make it uh, without application context. So that that's how uh, you know, application context as a rule. Just simply, JBoss Okay. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.